So today we are coming to Parque Mexico, which is a fairly famous park in Mexico and um, is a really beautiful one. I've been here before, but I thought I would bring us today to sort of get to see more of it. It's a sunny day and um, so just um, we'll just uh, wander we'll around some of the history of the park. Um, it's oval shaped and that's because it used to be a racetrack, a racetrack back when this huge area the Contessa neighborhood used to be owned by a countess. So that makes sense. That's why it's called Contessa. And um, so it's really lovely park. It's very shaded and it's got all these, um, I'll show you in a minute. It's got all these uh, finches that are covered. Um, it's also kind of muddy because it rains every day here. So here's one of those covered benches. Um, park's sort of famous for that. Park is also famous for um, being a place that people come and walk their dogs in the evening. Um, and it also seems to be a place where gay guys come and walk their dogs. And um, there's not many people here because it's very early for a Mexican to be out um, on a Saturday morning. Um, it's about 11 o'clock and um, if you meet somebody before 12, it's early. And um, so anyway, I just we'll just want it not as muddy as I thought it was gonna be. The day that I was here, it was huge pools of water. Today, it looks like it's much, much less mud. Some, but not much. So anyway, it's a really beautiful park. And um, it was built in the 1920s uh, when that Contessa uh, state was sold and the neighborhood and this became part of the Condessa neighborhood. So um, anyway, uh, we'll just keep walking. That's the one thing that you learn about Mexico City is everybody's got a dog and here's some dog walkers. And this is kind of a, they also have Wi-Fi here in the park, which is pretty cool. But anyway, dogs are a big part of Mexico. Uh, this is the duck pond. I've heard a lot about it and I didn't see it the other day, but it, very cool um, and it's a beautiful day out um, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about is the climate here uh, the climate in Mexico City is wonderful um, it's about 65 degrees right now and it's about 11 o'clock as I said and when I got up this morning it was about 55 degrees and chilly chilly enough that I had to wear a sweatshirt to go to coffee but the climate here is always that year round. So it's not like it, there's a winter and the summer, there's not. It's kind of the same year round because of the height. It's 7,000 feet above sea level. And so that's why. Here we get a much better view of the ducks. Um, anyway, it's very pretty. Um, we're coming up on the main plaza in the park. Uh, looks like lots of people are out today. When I was here, it wasn't a weekend and it wasn't nearly as active um, but it was all designed back in the 20s and 30s and so it's sort of art deck love to dance so there's always dancing going on wherever there are folks together and what a cool thing Looks like they know that they've done this before together. <laughs> the main gates and it's uh, Art Deco style and uh, back in the 30s, 27 I think is when this was all built. So very cool. Lots of activity going on today. Very cool, very cool. This guy's giving dance lessons, so that's kind of cool. And another group with uh, butterfly wings on doing some sort of a dance that looks choreographed, obviously. Lots of folks doing 
individual exercises, kind of cool. Here is a masterful jump roper. He was doing some tricks earlier. Um, quite, quite proficient at it. What an absolutely fun day at the park. All kinds of activities and has a very, very, very fun vibe to it. Another guy teaching dance. Couldn't forget to show the woman with the two vessels that water's supposed to pour out of, but it doesn't look like it's working. But that's this is part of that Art Deco style that's the, is all over the park. Do a little more walking around. The park is really, really big, which is cool. And it's really full of people today. And it really has a fun family atmosphere to it today. Um, just lots of activities, lots of people with their dogs and their children, families. So I can imagine what this is like on Sunday, which is more a family day. I read about the clock tower and here it is surrounded by a fountain. Um, anyway, just a shot of that. Here is the dog park. I thought the whole park was the dog park. It looks like there's one very specified region where people can bring and let their dogs loose. I think that's the idea. I don't know what Einstein has to do with this park, but there he is. That's it for the day. I think we've seen the park. I've been here about an hour and it really was fun. It is a very, very cool, fun place to be. So um, tomorrow, I think we're gonna go to Parque España, which is nearby, but not as big. And we'll just see what it's like on a Sunday.